Now we're going to place an image into this postcard. So we'll start by choosing File Place to place a photo or text on the page. In fact, in my head I always say drop in picture or drop in text because the shortcut is Command D or Control D to drop. But we'll start with the menu File Place. Adobe loves its own formats, so the preferred formats out of Photoshop are PSD, a Photoshop document, .tiff, a tagged image file format. JPEGs are fine as well, especially since InDesign can convert from RGB, the color space of your digital camera and your screen, to CMYK when it prints or PDFs. But EPS these days is frowned upon a bit because EPS does not support transparency. Transparency would be something like a soft feathered drop shadow or something made see-through. Also, PDF is preferred, the portable document format. Most all of my images are native PSD or native AI illustrators format, but sometimes I use a TIFF or JPEG as well. So I'm going to hit open, and when I hit open, in my cursor I can see this photo. And in fact, the orientation is wrong for how I want to use this. I want it to fill the left half of this postcard, but it's roughly the same orientation as the postcard itself. It's landscape. So I could move to the bleed guide, which is where I always design to. The black line is the end of your six by four inch paper. And the margins are really just a suggestion for where your type should go or objects that are inside the postcard. But I want this to be cut at the edge so the photo is perfectly going from edge to edge when it lands on the printing press. So if I click on the bleed guide, the red guide, here my cursor is black, meaning I'm not on the guide. The teeny tiny arrow in the upper left corner above the paintbrush. If I move to the red line, it turns white. And one quick click places that at actual size. Now it's a little shy of the height that I need, so I may need a higher resolution image, but we're going to work with it for now and just imagine it's going digital. On the selection tool, I can crop the image by pulling this over. I simply get on one of the handles. The handles are the blue squares at every corner and in the middle of the document. And when I get to that handle and pull into my purple column guide, it's now cropped away the right portion of the photo. But I want it to fill to the bottom as well. So I'm going to pull the bottom middle handle down to my red guide. And on the bar across the top, your control panel, I can choose fill frame proportionally and then center. Now, if your resolution is too low, these buttons may not show up. So you can go to object fitting and choose fill frame proportionally. I prefer fill frame to fit content proportionally because fit content is going to give me this gap above and below the photo, which I don't want. So I'll go back to object fitting and fill frame proportionally. And when I do, even if I click center here, or if I choose object fitting center content, I still don't get more of her in the photo. So that's what this content grabber is for. This little target in the center of every image you place will let you click once and drag to move the photo inside the box to get more of her inside the image area. And remember, it will be cut on the black line. That's the end of your postcard or end of your paper. So that's really what I'm designing to. And I'm happy with the image placement. So on your selection tool, grabbing the corners crops, clicking on the center lets me move the picture inside the box, and I'm going to choose View, Fit Page in Window, make sure everything fits. I need to click the center again and move this down a bit. And here I'm running into a problem. I must have done an undo because it's not going to the red guide. 
So if I click away, I want to click on the photo and see the blue points and pull this down to the red guide. The print shop will charge you to add that bleed if you don't remember to design to that eighth of an inch bleed edge and if this is going to a printing press. So now I'll click the center again and drag down to reposition her inside the box. In fact, if I zoom out with Command minus or Control minus, this orange box shows me the original dimensions of the Photoshop file when I placed it. The blue edge is the edge of the container or the frame. And it's okay if it goes past the red guide, but you want it at a minimum on the red guide. And it looks like I just moved my picture a hair by accident, which will happen. So I can leave that there or I could pull it back to the red guide. And I'll click away. Whenever I click away, I click in the pasteboard. The pasteboard is this white space outside of your page area and outside of your bleed area. It's just a free workspace if you want to design things and then bring them over onto the page or leave things here for use later that you aren't ready to put into your document yet. So that is how you get images in. File place. There are several other ways to do it by drawing a frame in advance, by clicking and dragging to scale as you place, but I want you to take some time to experiment with placing an image, hitting the content grabber and moving a picture around in the box, and seeing if you can get the photo of the bride taking up roughly half of this postcard on your own.